Tonight, some surprising criticism of President George W. Bush's top lieutenants by the president's own father. Bush 41, President George H.W. Bush, had some harsh words for two of the architects of the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. In a new biography of President George H.W. Bush, the 41st president breaks his silence on his son's war team of Defense Secretary Donald Rumsfeld and Vice President Dick Cheney. He likes Cheney, uh, respects him, but he clearly believed and wanted the historical record to reflect that he had objections to how Cheney had conducted his vice presidency. John Meacham is a Pulitzer Prize winning historian and author of Destiny and Power, the American Odyssey of George Herbert Walker Bush. For the book, Meacham was granted unprecedented access to the Bush family and their archives. President Bush 41 uh, believed that Cheney embodied an image of the 43 administration that was in some ways counterproductive around the world. The elder Bush believes that Cheney acted too independently of his son and advocated too hawkish a line after the attacks of September 11th, 2001. Meacham says George H.W. Bush believes that Cheney was pushed toward a harder line by his conservative wife and daughter. Well, I think Bush 41 suggested that perhaps uh, Liz Cheney and Lynn Cheney had had an influence on uh, Vice President Cheney. We smile about it. We laugh about it. Same with my daughter with Liz, but uh, my family was not conspiring to somehow turn me into a, uh, a tougher, more hard-nosed uh, individual. I got there all by myself. Cheney is reading Meacham's book in which the 41st president calls the vice president iron ass. Cheney sees the comment as more compliment than criticism. I took it as a mark of pride. <laughs> the attack on 9-11 was worse than Pearl Harbor in terms of the number of people killed and the, the amount of damage done. So that um, I think a lot of people believed then and, and still believe to this day. Uh, that I was uh, aggressive in defending and carrying out what I thought were the, the right policies. Meacham also writes in the book that, quote, Bush 41 believed Cheney and his hard-charging staff had fueled a global impression of American inflexibility. I've had much worse said about me than anything he ever thought. And um, I don't spend a lot of time worrying about what he meant by the, those diary entries. I fully admit that, that uh, after 9-11, I saw my role as being as uh, tough and aggressive as it needed to be to carry out the president's policy, uh, 43's policy, to make sure we didn't get hit again. Nevertheless, Cheney says he likes the book. The diary's fascinating because you can see how he felt at various key moments of his life. Um, so I'm enjoying the book. I recommend it. Uh, to my friends and uh, proud to be a part of it. The elder Bush reserves his harshest criticism for Donald Rumsfeld, of whom he's quoted as saying, I don't like what he did, and I think it hurt the president, George W. Bush. Having his iron-ass view of everything, there's a lack of humility, a lack of seeing what the other guy thinks. He's more kick-ass and take names. Secretary Rumsfeld declined comment. One revelation that came too late for Meacham's book, President Bush had said in his diary that he didn't think the country would accept gay marriage. He wrote me a note in September saying that while he still believed in traditional marriage, he thought that people had a right to be happy without discrimination. And he said, I guess you could say I've mellowed. Well, you can learn much more about our 41st president and hear for the first time those audio diaries. This Friday, 10 p.m. Eastern Time, Fox News Reporting presents Destiny and Power, the private diaries of George Herbert Walker Bush, hosted by my friend and mentor, Britt Hume.